Hello, I am Cat Woods. Welcome back to my channel. So this video, I have been looking forever online for something um, along the lines of this video, a comparison between the Skylar Caxton and the Skylar Traveras. So these are both single column formats. So for those of you who enjoy single column formats and premium Bibles, you guys, these two are the choices that are like, um, in my opinion, the best on the market. This is from even Evangelo, well, this is the Traveras, but this is from Evangelical Bibles. So I'll have this link in the description box below for you all, but Skylar Bibles and the mahogany calfskin, you all, the marble mahogany, oh, it is so, it is beyond like, uh, like goat skin in my opinion. The Skylar goat skin, the mahogany calf skin got this beat hands down. Oh, I love their leather, the way it smells, the way it feels in your hand. Each um, like Bible that you get in this mahogany, each Bible has its own special features. Like there's more marble, there's more textures, there's less textures. It's just, it is so exciting to get another Bible in this amazing leather. Oh, I love it. I love it. So my journey started was I was trying to figure out which one of these two Bibles I wanted to get first. All right. There are um, Traveras in comparison to the Quintel, which is a two column format. In my opinion, if you want a single column, you want to compare it with a single column, not no other. Um, there's a there's a Canterbury and all kinds of other things. So <laughs> I'm excited to bring exactly what you might be on the market for. If you're um, like the single column and a reader, many of us are drawn to just just availability when it comes to reading our Bibles. The Quintel from Skylar Evangelical Bible, you guys, that is the best I've so far two column format that I have found because it's 11 column, um, 11 column, <laughs> 11 point font, huge, beautiful reading. I do have my PSQ with me right now. So this is the Quintel. And then just look, look at the different patterns on all three of these Bibles. They're all wrapped exactly the same way but each one is different and oh, oh I love it look at that look oh my my okay I'll give each one a closer a closer view because this is just going to be drooling over these Bibles all right so this is the Quintel now this one is in the personal size I do have my full size it is at the house and I'm, I may come back and do a, a video of all four of them but so right now look at this just for everyday reading. Now this one is in the New King James translation. So we have a lot of footnotes. We have a lot of references. I mean, that's just what the King, the New King James is, you know, is for. They're known for their good, you know, their good reference system. All right. But the Traveras, so the Traveras, I have it in a full yap. So look at this. Oh so beautiful the textures are all different they have textures right up on the top and it smooths down towards the bottom with the beautiful high and lows of the leather oh wow just the craftsmanship the perimeter stitching and then on the back, it's all smooth. Amazing. Oh, no, the rocks. Oh, no. Hopefully some of these, it, sh it will rub off, but um, hopefully there's not too many big pokey rocks here. The grass is too wet, so I couldn't put it on grass. So, all right. So coming into the Traveras, you guys, I'll let you see. Now look at this. This is what we're going to get from the Traveras. You're not going to see any references. In the actual text block itself, it's clean. 
it's crisp it's just a bible the only thing that they have are the verses and they're only on the left hand side so we don't have verses you know left and right it's only on this one side which makes it for the perfect in my opinion daily reader a bible that you're going to come you know come to to just read the text that's all that you want you don't want no references you don't want no footnotes like in the footnotes especially in the new king james i found okay so come in here so let's say all right like right here we're reading the text and already we have a couple of you know references that our eyes are going to be drawn or drawn to now let me see if i can find a quick one the references always come in like a number so this number two so whenever we see number two while we're reading i don't know if you're like me but my eyes always want to come down to figure out what the number two is the references i don't really do that but when it comes to these numbers my eyes my mind is always drawn to what is you know what else is supposed to be here you don't get that with the Traveras at all so <laughs> each of these Bibles just because you have one don't think that you don't need like another one because each of these Bibles hold something special um, and, and unique in your collection so and I haven't personally I have not been a fan of the single column I love two column but owning this Bible I am starting to fall in love with it. All right, so this is the new one. I just got it today, so oh, I am drooling over it. And can I say, look at this chunky monkey. It is it is much thicker than the Traveras. I don't have any measurements because, you know, I'm outside you all. So I don't have any measurements, but... It, as you could just tell just from the spine it's much thicker we do have a full yap on the Traveras but yeah you can tell it's much much thicker all right so let me go ahead just open this up I'm gonna get to Genesis on the Traveras coming in and I'll do a full review on both of these Bibles this was not a full review this is just a comparison video I want to get to don't want to cause any wrinkly pages now it's brand new so I'm like trying to baby the pages because I always end up with wrinkly pages I don't know I'm just prone to wrinkly pages okay so we'll look at this so when it comes to the Caxton you all we have a single column format, but we have our references out on the outside and then footnotes. So if you still want your references and you still want your footnotes, um, the Caxton would be perfect for you. But the, the print, I'm trying to see, let's see here. Okay, so I'm gonna take you off the tripod here so we can get a closer look at this. All right, so what we're looking at now, the Traveras does have a different style um, of like the design and layout. It is completely different. That we do have those beautiful drop caps and we do have the red undertone or accents, I mean, and we don't have them over here, including in the actual chapter numbers and stuff. We don't have it. It's just black. That's all it is. So you don't get two colors. So I don't know if that's... Uh, uh, like a, a con for you or it could be a pro I don't know which one all right so it is a di this one is older from what I'm seeing uh, and it does look a bit bigger too so this is a chunky monkey but it is lighter so it also depends sometimes this bold look kind of hurts my eyes and makes it strain a little bit but this one over here it might be a happy medium I mean, it is a smaller size, but look how spacious it is. And I've always wanted to see a comparison between these two because I was just, 
I was cu curious, like, you know, is just the drop caps is the only difference? But no, like, you still get references. You're still getting everything that you get in other Bibles. This one, you don't. This one is completely clean. This is in the ESV translation, and this is in the NLT. And it is only in the outer column. So the references and stuff are only in the outer column, which the Treveras, if you remember, it was only on the left-hand side. So no matter if you're on the right or left page, you only get your references on the left-hand side. So kind of the same format as a book. You will get your headers, the, the headers over here will be right where they're at in the Bible. Which I, I like that. I like the headers. The Traveras will take the headers out of the text and they will put them up on top. Now if you do have a page where there's more than one header, they will take the most recent um, header, like which is closer to the top of that page and they will put it up here. So it's just, it's really all based on what, what you like. But I did want to come in and just, oh, I had to do this comparison because I was so like, this is a lot of money to drop on a Bible that you're just not sure with. And that's exactly how, how and what I was doing. I wasn't sure. Yes, I seen a review over just the Caxon. Yes, I seen a review just over the Truveras. But I wanted to know which one was better, you know, my, my pros and cons between them both. Um, how I made up my mind at when, the first one because of the full yap. I had to have this full yap. I love the full yap. The NLT one, the, the Caxton, you don't get a full yap. You just get this semi yap, which there's nothing wrong with that. So if you're vice versa, if you're not really a fan of the full yap, then grab the Caxton. I do believe they have the Caxton without the full yap. Don't hold me to that. I really, I wasn't really checking for anything besides the full yap at the time when I looked. So um, yeah, go over and do a little research for yourself on that. But I am definitely glad I took the plunge and just got them both. Because like I said, I love reading different translations um, that if you've been a fan, a follower of me, mine for a while, you know, I love different translations because I grab different things at different times. So this is my first NLT premium Bible. So I'm like, yay, I don't have this translation in a premium Bible. So I am so, and it's a chunky monkey. I love thick Bibles. I'm not a fan of, of the thin Bibles. It just doesn't, it doesn't feel like a Bible to me. Um, I'm still kind of trying to get used to the single column format, you all. Uh, I, I will say, I'm not saying I'm struggling with it because this Bible really has helped me um, with that. But I just, I like my, you know, my two columns. It just, it looks more like, like a Bible to me. These look like textbooks. It's just, I don't know. And I know like over time, the more I use them, the more, you know, I, I will find a time and a place for it. So, but yeah. So if you do have, um, if you do by chance own them both, what are your pros and cons out of both of them? I do say just off the rip right now, I wish they had the red and black. The red and black, that's just how Skylar does their Bibles. But this is a text block from Tyndale. So maybe because it's a Tyndale um, text block, that's why they couldn't really change it. That's another thing I heard in a lot of um, Bible reviews. This is a Tyndale text block. So I was like, uh, because it's a Tyndale text block, are we still gonna have the good Skylar paper? And yes, it's the same Skylar quality, Skylar um, leather, ribbons, binding, paper everything the only thing that is different is the actual text block so the words itself nothing else is different so that was one of my one of my questions i did ask i was like what 
um, I'm kind of curious about that. How did you do this? And so, yeah, they do have um, the Tyndale maps, which is on Bible paper, uh, which I don't really like because look, it wrinkles. You gotta put it on the cardstock because it doesn't wrinkle for one, and it adds more support to the back. And on a chunky monkey like this, you guys, you need all the support you can get. Just saying. <laughs> So, um, okay. So I'm going to cut this off here and not drag it out anymore. Not shake you around anymore. But, um, yeah, I will come back and do a personal review of each of these Bibles because I like to have reviews of all the Bibles I have in my collection on my channel itself. So, okay, remember, be a creative tool in our Father's art box. I love you all, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.